I always take life with a grain of salt. Plus a slice of lemon and a shot of tequila. Here are some reasons why it's better to be a female. We got off the Titanic first. We can scare male bosses with mysterious female disorder excuses. We get to flirt with system support men who always return our calls and are nice to us when we blow up our computers. Our boyfriend's clothes make us look elfin and cute. Guys look like complete idiots in ours. We can be groupies. Male groupies are stalkers. We can cry and get out of speeding tickets. Taxis stop for us. Men die earlier and so we get to cash in on the life insurance. Pete has a sure way to keep his wife from buying too many clothes. Whenever she's trying them on, he looks at them and says, I love that great middle-aged look it gives you. Well, another school day. Wonder what the parents of my students will have for excuses for their kids not being here today. Megan could not come to school today because she is bothered by very close veins. Were her veins far away or something? Please excuse Jimmy for being. It was his father's fault. I guess his father should have worn a condom then. Please excuse Jennifer for missing school yesterday. We forgot to get the Sunday paper off the porch and when we found it Monday, we thought it was Sunday. Please excuse Jason for being absent yesterday. He had a cold and could not breathe well. I guess that's why he missed sex education class. Irving was absent yesterday because he missed his bus. Sam won't be in school a week from Friday. We have to attend his funeral. So when is Sam scheduled to be executed? Do you know anything about the fax machine? A little. What's wrong? Well, I sent a fax. And the recipient called back to say all she received was a cover sheet and a blank page. How did you load the sheet? Face up or face down? Well, it's a pretty sensitive memo, and I don't want anyone else to read it by accident, so I folded it so only the recipient could open it and read it. When you are out buying food, duct tape, and toilet paper to prepare for the zombie apocalypse, don't forget fresh batteries for your flashlights. In the dark, you don't want to mix up the duct tape and the toilet paper. <laughs> 